Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to a consignment sale today and it is the biggest consignment sale I have ever seen in my life. Knoxville and Johnson City host a duck duck goose sale every year and it is huge. They need the expo center to have this consignment sale. I went with my sister Emily and I was floored. Last year I went and I found hardly anything. For the boys this year, I seen so much stuff. I didn't even get through the entire consignment sale. It was so big. I made it halfway through before they started to close and I had to leave. It would pay me to go back. I got lots of goodies. I told you guys that I was going to try really hard to buy around 75% of our clothes and things like that from thrift stores, consignment sales. It's better for the environment and it's better for my wallet. And speaking of helping your wallet, today's sponsor is Rocket Money. Rocket Money is the app that you need to save more and to manage your money better. The other day I was trying to cancel a subscription and it took me forever. And they always ask, are you sure you want to go? Come on, we'll give you 50% off. No, I just want to cancel my subscription. Well, Rocket Money does that for me. So, I don't have to deal with any of that. I love using Rocket Money to cancel all of my unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money does all of that for me. So, I don't have to worry about it. Rocket Money safely and securely identifies any reoccurring charges. And cancels those unwanted subscriptions for you. You can even cancel within the app with just a couple of taps and there you go, it's canceled. This way, you don't have to worry about customer service calls. You don't have to worry about all of those. Are you sure you want to leave and I'm trying to get you to stay? You don't have to worry about any of that with Rocket Money. Rocket Money has helped save its customers up to $740 per year with over five hundred million dollars in canceled subscriptions take control of your finances today go to rocketmoney.com slash southern frugal mama to get started for free today so i went here we go roll the clip it is the biggest consumer sale i've ever seen in my life So, I have to voice over here because they were playing Kenny Chesney extremely loud. But I found some Nike shorts. Look how much they are. $3 for Nike. This is the only pair of Nike shorts that I will find that cheap. This entire trip. Found another Diamond in the Rough um, Speedo brand. It is kind of big for Colin. He'll probably be able to wear it next year. But for $3, I'm going to get it. Started. Are you overwhelmed? I'm stressed out. Did you find lots of things though? Kinda. You have found a lot of stuff. I've been at it for 15 minutes. Thunderwear. It's wild pack thunderwear. They have never been used. I had to take a break because I was kind of overwhelmed. You know. I I'll start back at it in a minute. Uh, people are awfully proud of those. One was twenty four dollars. For a Disney show? Yeah. That was purely the Oh, it's is a pirate, it, Mickey. Is that pirate? Pirates of the Caribbean ears. This is fifteen dollars. Wait, how $6. much is it? And it still has the tag. That's actually a pretty good deal for Mickey ears. 
Should I get it? Yeah. What's this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <Squirrel>. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, come on. These shoes are so worn, they look like that. They are not worth $15. Mm -hmm. ah. the camper oh my goodness it's aerial you need to buy it right now I found that yeah so, <clears throat> my opinion is, I understand everybody wants to make money nowadays because, you know, inflation is crazy and you got to make money for your family. I guess that price. <gasps> okay. But, yeah, some of these people are pressing their stuff, like, more than brand new. Okay. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. How much is it? $3. Dang, y'all get better deals on girls' stuff, but some of their stuff is actually kind of outrageous. Oh, oh, this is, oh, gosh, that's a $3. I'm not buying it. Look, Spirit. That's Hattie. So, Emily and, that price. Emily and I like to play a game called Guess That Price, and I'm interrupting her, it's but let's do it. It's It's just a little dress. No new tags. It doesn't look like it has an actual brand. It's $30. Huge. That looks... It is. It's thirty dollars. Consignment. Consignment. <laughs> oh, I'm lame. Um, but before I interrupted Emily so rudely, I'm sorry. Um, we do this thing where we play. Get, I can't even talk. Where we play guess that price. We did it all through Disney. And we were shooketh. And this seems like an appropriate time. Hold on. Let me find another good one. Let me find another good one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't care, don't care. It is Kimmy. I gotta get the handler. Gotta pick that dog. <laughs> That's for Sandy. I think, oh, did I find one? Did I find one? <gasps> so if it's Matilda Jane, expect it to be expensive. Okay, this isn't as bad as yours, but very thin you can see through it it looks handmade. yeah it looks like somebody made it on which is great um guess that price emily twelve dollars eighteen oh my gosh eighteen at a consignment sale i found another it's just a basic dress basic emily guess that price 17. 20. Mm. y'all they even have a teen section, and I just seen it. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's gigantically full. <gasps> it even goes back through there. Holy smokes! This is the most I've ever seen for Ryder and Braden's age. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to eat things. Oh, that is 
big. It's big. I didn't even show y'all half of it. It's huge. But I got all my goodies here. Last year, they had a section about this big of teen clothing. This year, it was so huge. I don't even know. Five, six aisles? Too wide? Yes, please. They, it's teens, but it's adults, too. I'm going to show you what I got at the Duck Duck Goose consignment sale. First thing I'm going to do is start with Kylan. With Kylan, I got this Jimboree. It is a shirt and shorts. It's a pajama set. Jimboree brand. Good brand. It was $5 for this whole pajama set. And let me tell you about pajamas and Kylan. I, Walmart sells them, what, $12.97 for a set just like this. And he sleeps in them, but he ends up getting so hot in the middle of the night, he, like, takes his pajamas off and he, like, throws them because he hates them. <laughs> so, I am not going to spend $12.97 for pajamas when he's just going to take them off halfway through the night. Consignments have pajamas are what I'm doing. So, we got this Jimboree set of pajamas for Kai Kai. This is another set of Jimboree pajamas. Shorts for Kylan. This cost $4. Whoever laundered that item, your stuff smells good. Another Jimboree pajama set. Comes with the shorts. This one costs $4 for the whole set. Which is a steal for Jimboree. I think this is the last pair of pajamas I got, Kylan. I'm not going to swear to it, but I think it is. It is a Jimboree brand. Comes with the shorts. And this cost $4. So, for Colin, got him this Life is Good shirt. This cost me $3. Oshkosh shorts for Kylan. And these look about brand spanking new. These cost $4. Cat and Jack. Okay. So, you guys seen that I was having price sticker shock? Because well, some of these co-signers thought their stuff was worth more than the actual stores. But I did find some really good deals amongst all the crazy prices, too. This is the Cat and Jack. It cost me $3. And these look brand spanking new. That was a good deal for Cat and Jack. I found three pair just like this. And those were $7 a piece. And this one was three. Just sitting there all happy. I was like, give me the $3 one. We have another Cat and Jack little tank top. This was $3. I don't know the brand of this. It was just cute. The Rockies collection and a bear fishing. And... We love Colorado when we went, so I thought this was adorable. It was $3. Another Cat and Jack. This one is brand new, never been worn. This cost $5. I have limitations on the things that I get at a thrift store or a consignment sale. If it's brand spanking new and never been worn, I will easily pay $5 for it at a consignment sale. This is a Jimboree outfit. It comes with this shirt and these shorts. I got the entire outfit for $7. Another Cat and Jack shirt. $3. Old Navy, $4. And this one looks brand new too. Old Navy, $2 for this. And it is in such good shape. I would say this has been worn very, very little, if any. A jumping bean shirt for when he's feeling a little more fancy. $4. I had to get him a Tennessee shirt. He's a big Tennessee ball fan. This was $4. This was a really good deal on this. He can, Colin cannot fit in this right now. It'll probably be next Summer when he can fit in this, but it was such a good deal. I went ahead and got it. It is a Speedo brand swim shorts. And it looks almost new. And they were $3 for Speedo brand. 
So I had to grab that. Even if he can't wear it right now, he can next year. Got a pair of Nike shorts for $3. Most co-signers have like $10, 7 to $10 on Nike shorts. And I found one for three. And the last thing I got caught on was this gigantic pack of unused underwear. It is full. Absolutely full. He can't fit into these right now. He'll probably be able to fit into these in like six months to a year. But it was $10 and there's, what does it say? There's 14 pair of underwear in here for $10 that have never been used. Thought that was a great deal. I lied to you. This was hiding. I got this outfit for Colin too. She's brand new with tags. Is it? I thought it was. This is not brand new with tags, but it looks it. It was six dollars for this and matching shorts. And that's all that I got Colin. Now I'm gonna start with Brayden. I found so many good deals for Braden today. I'm really excited because I hardly ever find any sizes for him. And with Ryder, I found some, but they closed before I could look at all of the aisles with his sizes. Like I said, I might go back to see if I can find Ryder some more, but I was on a time crunch. I couldn't get him as much as I wanted to. So let's start with Braden. $4 for these Levi shorts. $4! Like, if we go to Plato's Closet or a thrift store around here, I would have paid $10 for this. $4. Old Navy shirt, never been worn, still with the tags, five bucks for Braden. Trying to find a good way for you guys to see it. Five bucks, brand new. This, it's Southern Lore brand. It was $6. It's got a doggy in a Jeep with fish and foam. Braden's vibe completely. Three dollars for this plain basic blue t-shirt. Five dollars for this old navy t-shirt. Five dollars for this yellow Greg Norman t-shirt for Braden. Eddie Bauer shorts for five dollars. And these look brand new. These say 32s and Braden's in 32 men's. But these look so big. I don't know if he can wear these. <laughs> they might can fit Ryder. So these could possibly be Ryder or Braden's. They were $6 for brand new Wrangler. They still have the tag on the back. Wrangler shorts. $3 for some khaki shorts. American Eagle t-shirt, $5. $5 for these blue shorts. This is kind of like the dry fit brand. This is dry fit too. This still has the tags on it. It's called Ocean Coast tags. These cost me five bucks. If this still had the tags on it, <laughs> one of my local thrift stores, $13, $15. I hit the mother low today. I'm so excited. A Vans Off The Wall t-shirt for Brayden. He loves Vans. This was $4. $4. This is brand new with tags. Three bucks. Brayden loves space and NASA. This was $3. The, I thought this was adorable. It's like got that vintage retro vibe. This Nike shirt. Five bucks. And this Adidas shirt that looks brand spanking new for $5. And that is everything I got Braden today. I hit the mother lobe with Braden. I have never seen such good deals for boys, teenager size clothes. That is a pretty good loot. <laughs> now I'm going to show you what I got Ryder, but remember... They closed. I was not able to look at all of the clothes in Ryder's size. I wasn't able to look at half the, the wholesale. Ryder's a basic guy. He likes the basic stuff. So I found him this. It was Old Navy and it was $5. And it smells good. 
I got rid of this good fellow plain t-shirt. This was $5. I got him this plain basic brown t-shirt. Three bucks. That's all the shirts I got for him. And now, I got him these shorts. These were $4 for a pair of shorts. Y'all just don't understand how much that blows my mind. Those prices are so low compared to everything else. These are brand new with tags. They were $4. $4. These were also brand new with tags. Four, again, $4. <laughs> These are Croft and Barrow. I've never heard of that. Five bucks for these. Faded Glory. This is just basic khakis from Walmart, but they were three dollars. Yes, please. And we got another pair of Faded Glory. Just basic shorts. Three dollars. I hit the mother load of deals today and i'm so excited for it i have never found deals for the boys this good non-clothing items that i found we sometimes when we go camping in the camper the wi-fi signal from the campground is really bad and we can't really watch tv at night so we have to do dvds i found the crudes for two dollars the patriot for two dollars and alice in wonderland for two dollars that was my thrift and haul all of it I hope Dusty will agree to go to Knoxville tomorrow. Today, the day you're seeing this. So we can get some more goodies. Let me know in the comments what good deals you guys have found thrifting lately. Me and Dusty are really getting into thrifting. We thrifted every now and again before, but since my new year resolution, where I said that I was gonna start buying second hand to you know help the environment and, and to help our wallet. <laughs> we have been hitting them up weekly. And it's been really exciting. The things that we have found are 10 times better than anything brand new that you can find in a store. So if you haven't went thrifting in a long time, this is your sign to go do so. Go find some goodies and save some money. I love you guys. I'll see you next video. Remember, as always, be positive and kind and happy and let others be happy. And I'll see you later. Bye.